to Arches National Park. And behind me, you can see North Window Arch and South Window Arch, maybe right there somewhere. And then on the back side, we got Turret Arch. And this is kind of a little, um, little over a half mile loop you can do. And then from here, you can actually see Double Arch, which is where we're headed next um, to continue our Arches adventure. double arch behind me. Um, so far I think it's the coolest arch we've been to. Um, we've only seen a few so far but this one's really cool. You can see that it's got the light coming through on both sides. Um, it's only a quarter mile hike up and not too bad so I think this is uh, my favorite hike so far. fiery furnace viewpoint. From here you can see that there are all of these beautiful red spires, but what you can't see is that in between each of them are shady canyons and coves that you can hike into. The interesting thing is though, there are no marked trails for you to kind of go in and hike on your own. You actually have to get a special permit from the ranger station and they only give out a certain number um, per day. So. We would suggest getting there pretty early so that you can make sure you get one. Um, but if you can't get one, the viewpoint is still beautiful. And you can really see these beautiful canyon spires. This cabin was made in the late 1800s by a man named John Wesley Wolfe, him and his son. Um, came out here and they made a little corral and a root cellar and uh, they lived here for about 20 years which is just crazy to me because it is so hot and there's just absolutely nothing around. Especially um, incredible because um, John Wolf was actually a disabled Civil War veteran so um, if you look inside of this house you can't really see very well but and show you. There's a few little things that he made. Um, the table, well, you can't see it hardly at all. He wants to focus on that great. There we go. Um, a table that he made and this little chair that seems like it could be kind of sketchy to sit on. So we're at the Delicate Arch Trailhead. Um, this is where it begins here at the little wolf ranch. Um, it heads out this way and goes a mile and a half. Um, it's pretty uh, rigorous from what I've heard. Um, it's uphill, um, lots of climbing, 480 foot elevation gain. Um, we actually opted to go around the corner here on the road and there's actually a couple of viewpoints. Um, one of them, you hop out of the car in the parking lot and walk 30 seconds and you can see the arch pretty decent. Um, and then if you hike a mile, half mile up that, you get a pretty good view of the arch from there as well. So you got a couple different options. Um, if you're a little more adventurous, this is definitely the way to go. You can get right underneath the arch and check it out up close. 